Let's do it. Hi, I'm Jesse and welcome to What's New, the series where we unveil exciting new product updates in Canva from the team who made them. We believe that fostering a sense of creativity in students from an early age is what sets them up for success in an increasingly visual world. That's why we're empowering students and teachers across the globe to design for free using Canva and unleash their creativity. Fun fact, we currently have 2 million teachers and 9 million students designing on Canva. Today, we'll hear about some exciting updates in the Canva for Education product. Everybody, open your books to page one and let's get started. We're now gonna hear from Kelsey, who's going to tell us a bit about something I think we can all get really excited about. Yes, we're here to talk about submitting assignments. I know that my favorite part of school certainly wasn't making great friends or playing sport, it was assignments. Of course. So Kelsey, tell us a bit about the assignment flow in Canva. Yeah, so we discovered that teachers and students were not using the current assignment flow, and so we decided to make an update to make it more intuitive, easier to give feedback, easier for students to learn and grow from what they're submitting on Canva. That sounds great. So I remember on the rare occasion that I submitted an assignment in school, I'd get it back with all those red scribbles and stuff all over it. Is that sort of what you're talking about? Yeah, basically the same thing. Not red, not scary, okay. but... Could we check it out maybe? Yeah, let's cool. take a look. First, students sign into their Canva for Education account. Students will receive an email and notification of a new assignment. Here, a student has received the new assignment in their email. Students then click Start My Assignment to start working. Once the student finishes their assignment, they can select Send to Teacher. The student then selects a teacher and can type in a message. In the classwork menu, students can see the submitted assignment. When they click on the assignment, they will see the assignment and the message they sent to their teacher. Wow, I didn't realize that submitting assignments could be so exciting. Yeah, it always is with Canva. We're making it easy to submit on Canva and on any learning management system as well. Kelsey, thanks a lot for coming on the show. You get an A plus from me. I think probably a B minus from me. That's fair enough. My next guest is Zach from the Partnerships team, and he's here to tell us about two exciting new integrations with Canva. Zach, welcome to the show. Thanks, Jesse. Thanks for having me. So, Zach, tell us, what's new in the world of partnerships? We've got two new exciting partnerships today to announce, one with Wiser and one with ThingLink. The Wiser partnership allows teachers to create worksheets from scratch, and the ThingLink partnership allows businesses and students to create educational resources. So I can totally see where Canva comes in here, but can you tell me maybe a little bit more about the value that this will provide for our education community? Creating these resources can be hard, complicated, and time consuming. The integration allows Canva to come inside of those platforms so that they can go from zero assets to education content ready. So it's sort of like a Canva button integration, right? Exactly right. Do you mind if we take it for a spin? Yeah, let's have a look. All right. From Wiser, teachers can create a new worksheet and click the Canva button. The Canva editor opens up on the Wiser platform and the teacher can select from 35 carefully curated worksheet templates to begin their design. Once they've chosen a worksheet template, teachers can now edit and customise the worksheet using Canva's content and tools. Next, the teacher can publish their worksheet directly into the Wiser account, like this. Now the teacher can begin marking up their worksheet with Wiser's interactive question builder. The Canva worksheet is then converted into an engaging, interactive, multiple choice worksheet ready to be used by students. Teachers can also share this throughout their community. When logged into ThingLink, click the upload button and then design with Canva. Next, choose what type of visual content you want to start creating from within Canva. Select anything from lesson plans to infographics or start from scratch with your own ideas. From here, teachers can access Canva's powerful editor from directly within the ThingLink platform. Select a template to start editing. Once happy with the design, click the save to ThingLink button Designs are then published from the Canva editor straight into your ThingLink media library. Teachers also have the ability to make changes from their ThingLink designs entirely within their platform without having to navigate from their current workflow. Yeah, right. So that is a very seamless integration, isn't it? It is. It allows people to stay on both platforms and achieve their design needs all in the same space. Zach, this has been a great partnership. Thanks for coming on the show. Anytime, Jesse. Thanks very much. And that's all from us today at What's New. I'd like to thank Kelsey and Zach for joining us to tell us about their exciting product updates. Don't forget to tell us what your favorite new feature is in the comments below. Class dismissed. Hi, I'm Jesse. Cool, all right. All serious. Pretty serious, relatively serious. Do I put hands above? Just usually like this. Above, yeah. <laughs>